So I just got back from a spur of the moment, spontaneous, several day antique picking trip through the middle of North Carolina around my hometown of the Asheboro, Randolph County area, and then up through the mountains. I went through Waynesville, North Carolina, and Asheville, North Carolina, and then went into North Georgia, Clayton, uh, stopped at all certain, all different kinds of antique malls and a couple of thrift stores and did a little bit of, a little bit of picking. So I've got an antique booth in Monroe, Georgia at Vintage Revival Antiques. Um, if you go, just ask them where Mrs. Happy Homemaker's booth is at. They'll be glad to show you. And I also run antiquecookbooks.com in addition to doing the cooking shows and mrshappyhomemaker.com. So some of this stuff is for my antique booth. Some is for my antique cookbook website, and some of it is for little old me. <laughs> so I am out at my warehouse, and I am about to unload my truck from my recent antique haul. And my truck's pretty full, let me show you. Got a whole bunch of cast irons. This is a Wagner. This is a Wagner. Another Wagner. Ooh. A Griswold, my favorite. Another heavy one. This is a unmarked skillet, but made in the USA. This is a Griswold, and this is an amazing pan. It's like a tortilla pan or a flat griddle. Oh gosh. And then this bad boy. And it's super old. I need to do some research, see exactly how old it is. But Picked up a good bit of cast iron, I'd say. Cookbooks. Always cookbooks. So I've got a garlic lover's cookbook. I've got um, the second shaping dish cookbook. Now this one is for me. And then I buy these things also to put on my antique cookbook website, antiquecookbooks.com. I've got a fondue cookbook. I've got another fondue cookbook. Just little cooking pamphlets, lots of them a vintage Western oil cookbook, metropolitan cookbook, yeah. and then these are better homes and gardens and southern living vintage cookbooks. I got a little black and white kitty. I can put little rings and stuff on it and reminds me of my Kit Kat. I actually got two of them and the other one I'm going to give to my oldest daughter Destiny who is also quite obsessed with Kit Kat. Ooh. How cute, right? And I got a Betty Crocker picture cookbook. I got these two easy bake ovens. I collect these. I have a collection inside my home and I'm so excited to add both of these to my collection. The blue ones are my absolute favorite. These are both easy bake ovens. I also collect the Susie Homemaker kitchen toys, but yay! I've got a TV lunch boxes puzzle that I am going to attempt to put together hoping that all the pieces are inside of it. And I'm not sure what everything wrapped up is because when you do this for a few days, everything kind of blends together. Together, and it's almost like Christmas again. Oh, I remember this. This is a Pyrex dish. A vintage clear Pyrex dish. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this or keep it or put it in my antique booth. And personal. I love these Woodwick candles. Found them in an antique booth for $7. Smells so good. Sounds like a fireplace. I actually bought several of these because they retail for like 20 something dollars, $25 I think, and seven bucks. Hey. <laughs> More vintage cookbooks. I've got diet recipes from Doris's Kitchen. I've got Blair's Treasure uh, Personal Recipes. This is um, from Blair's, Virginia. And then I got the North Carolina Federation of Women's Clubs 20th Anniversary Cookbook. I bought this as a gift for my daughter, Madison. She doesn't watch my videos, so <laughs> she won't know that I bought it for her until she actually gets it. She loves Starbucks. I think I'm going to put a uh, Starbucks gift card inside of it, but a little purse. Oh, 
Okay, so I picked this up at an antique booth. A potter had a booth there, and it says Ashboro right in the center of the shape of North Carolina. Randolph County is where I'm from, and that includes Ashboro and Ashboro and Ramsor and Staley, and that's my old stomping grounds. <laughs> oh, and some earrings. How cute are those? I only paid like, I think, $6 for those earrings. Another candle. Hmm, this one's a vanilla one. It's funny how you forget what you bought sometimes, right? Oh, another candle. This is another wood wick. Hmm, it's a three wood wick. Still, how much I paid this one? I paid $6 for this one. So, $7 for the big tall ones and then $6 for the small ones. Great, great, great price. That was at an antique mall, um, Countryside Antique Mall in Siler City, North Carolina. Oh, y'all, I know what this is. This is two of my favorite purchases. I'm going to save the, the better of the purchase for a second here. Let me open up this one first. So, I love vintage pigs, like from the 50s era. I think they're so cute. I have a collection of those, too. And look at this adorable planter. I paid, I think I give, uh, I think I paid $10 for this. So cute, so cute. But this, but this right here, oh y'all. I am so excited about this one. I cannot wait to be serving drinks out of this. Doing videos from serving drinks out of this, you guys. Ah! How stinking cute is this? Oh my goodness. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Would you like some lemonade? Why, yes, please. <laughs> now I need little, uh, little piggy glasses, little piggy glasses. Y'all, I am absolutely in love. This was my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite purchase of the whole antique trip. <laughs> You're adorable. Do you know that? I thought this would be cool for my background back here for my cooking videos because y'all know I love some white lily flour and some Crisco in my biscuits. This is my colors. I love the, the vintage uh, Crisco tin. It's clean. Super cool. So, another awesome find. And a little rooster bug because I actually have this dinnerware set and I didn't know that mugs existed for it so I found one little mug for three dollars and so I had to get it to go along with my set. See here's my little vintage plate. I've actually got two of these plates. I used to have three but one of them broke to match my mug or my mug to match my plate. Oh another great find. I love 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 antique cookbooks and handwritten recipes and look at this. I paid $6 for it and it's slam full of handwritten recipes and like newspaper newspaper clippings with recipes on it. I have not gone through the entire thing yet, but I can't wait to sit down with a, a cup of hot coffee and just go through all of these. Now, if you've been following for a while, then you know I collect Lady of the Trance stuff as an homage to my late husband, Michael, who passed away when he was 33. So, I've always loved the movie Lady of the Trance, and he used to tell me that I was his lady, and he was my tramp. And I found this blanket. You guys, ah, look at this. <laughs> it's huge, too. Can y'all see it? I can't see me, but you can see the blanket. <laughs> so excited about this one too. More Pyrex dishes. These are some square, clear, vintage Pyrex. Got a whole stack, a whole stack of Our State magazines. This is a North Carolina State magazine. I think I paid a dime a piece for it. Love this magazine. All sorts of cool recipes and visitors information and just a great magazine. So I bought those to read. I'm gonna have to make some more make some room. Hold on. Vintage salt and pepper shakers. Aren't they adorable? Look how cute. 
and they're little planters. More vintage plates. I have the little teacups that match this. And I've been looking to find these for a decent price and I found them. And I got a set of four of them. Another vintage cookbook. This is the Southern Cookbook. This is another Betty Crocker picture cookbook. A blue Pyrex refrigerator dish and the lid for this is in here somewhere. A vintage 80s lady in perfect condition with the Hardy's bag that it came in still attached to it. A vintage glass to pour my lemonade in. I think this is the lid for that. There it is. Y'all, y'all, hold on. Okay, I have been wanting one of these for so long that they're stupid expensive. And I picked this up. It is a vintage Jadette Fire King Baker 9 by 13 and I paid $20 for it. If you collect this stuff, then you know what a fabulous, fabulous deal this is. Fabulous deal. Now, it does have a teeny tiny chip. You can barely see it. Teeny tiny right there. And that's why it was $20. But y'all have wanted one of these for so long. And I'm so excited to find it. At a great deal too. Oh, I got this beautiful handmade pottery bowl. Um, I think I paid $5 for this. And you know that when they bought this at the pottery store, it was way more than $5. But just look at the beautiful colors in there. And it's signed too. Oh, another piece of Jeanette. Look how gorgeous this plate is. Isn't that beautiful? I paid $8 for the set. And again, if you collect this kind of stuff, you know what a great deal that is. Oh, this was on clearance. It says, oof, down here. It says, Ray back, raised on cash and cornbread. <laughs> and then I got this Liberty, North Carolina treasure of personal recipes and Betty Crocker's cookie book. And I got this at uh, Carolina Eclectic in Ramsor, North Carolina. I got this porcelain sunbeam chalkboard sign and I got a steal of a deal on this too. I got this beautiful, beautiful charcuterie board, serving board, cutting board from Carolina Eclectic in Ramsor, North Carolina. It's made in Bennett, North Carolina with reclaimed walnuts and I just fell in love with this piece. I love it. And the very same people that made that big giant serving board also made this beautiful cutting board, serving board, charcuterie board too. And this is made out of black walnuts and they gave me a fabulous deal since I got both of them. Beautiful piece. I got this amazing white lily poster, vintage white lily poster. White lily is the only flower that I use and I was so excited to find this. I got these canisters. There's a set of four of them in here. I've got some chairs and a table I'm gonna load here in a minute. And here is the table and chairs, the vintage Formica table, table and chairs. I picked them separately. It's got a leaf and isn't that pretty cool? And these chairs, you guys, these chairs are amazing. And they ended up being the perfect height for this table which just worked out fabulous. I found the table um, one day and then the chairs a couple of days later. And that's it. That is my finds on my last antique hunt. Whole bunch of great finds. Thanks for watching.